Hello, welcome to 21st Century Moses channel. My name is Sammy Ju. Let me ask you a question. What benefits will you get when you read the Bible? Do you want to know the answer? Then stay tuned. This week's theme is, who wrote the Bible and is it trustworthy? And today's verse is the last one, 2 Timothy 3.16. Let's go to the first section, exposition. Let's read 2 Timothy 3.16. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Now the key phrase in this verse is breathed out. God breathed, which means God inspired the Bible. This phrase is used only one time in this passage, in the whole New Testament, in fact, in the whole Bible. Now it emphasizes that everything in the Bible, all scripture, Right? It's inspired God by God. So you cannot say that some parts are inspired or some parts are not. All of them are inspired by God. As a result, the Bible is profitable for uh, four major things. Teaching, reproof, correction, and training in righteousness. Now, righteousness is the characteristics of God. So without the Bible, we cannot have this benefit of being shaped and molded in righteousness. We cannot become like God. So we need the Bible, the scripture, which is inspired and breathed out by Him. First, we need to be thankful for the Bible, God's word given to us. Many people know that the Bible is a great book and it has been indeed the best-selling book for ages. However, more than the popularity of the book, the book itself is different from other books because this book, the Bible, is inspired by God. Even though it was written by human writers, the content itself is from God. And the Bible is relevant to us and it impacts us directly by benefiting us to become more like Him each day. This is one of the main reasons why I'm doing 365 Empowerment with memorizing Bible verses every day. This is why I am recommending you to do a 70 day journey to the Bible as well. It is not to give you another assignment or burden on top of your daily jobs and obligations, but this is for you to be shaped and molded to become like God through His Word each day. Surely God has given us the Bible as the gift. So let's continue to read, meditate, and memorize and obey His words. Okay, the remember the key words, breathe it, teaching, reproof, correction, and training. So the main idea is God breathed all scripture for teaching, reproof, and uh, correction, and training. Now, uh, the second Timothy, the Timothy talks about a, a, a lot about the Bible itself. Now 3.16, when it comes to the most important verse in the Bible, normally people say John 3.16. Now here in the 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3.16 is a very, very important verse. So you just say, oh, 3.16 must be a very important verse. It, this is a very important verse about the Bible. Okay, so 2 Timothy 3.16. Now read this verse three times out loud. Pause the video. Okay. Now close your eyes and recite the verse word by word. Pause the video. Okay. Fill in the blanks and check it. All scripture is out by God and profitable for, 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 and for. In righteousness, the answer is breathe it, teaching, reproof, correction, and training, and today's verse is, yes, 2 Timothy 3, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 verses, reviews. Okay, now we are in the fourth week. The, um, the theme is, who wrote scripture and is scripture trustworthy? So the overarching theme is faith in God's word. In the previous weeks, uh, three weeks, 
the the main idea was the faith in God. So we studied about uh, we memorized the verses about God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. Okay. So uh, when you memorize the, for, these verses, try to remember this theme. So it's like a big um, the category that when you go to a library, you go to the category first and then find your book, right? So when you uh, memorize by these categories, it will be much easier for you to get to those verses when you need, okay? So the first category was faith in God, and the second category is about the Bible, God's Word. And today, uh, this week is the fourth week, the first week of this God's Word, the Bible uh, category, okay? So let's uh, let's move on. Let's review the seven verses that we memorized this week. The first one, and Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord. He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. What was this verse? Yes, Exodus twenty-four four. Next one. Oh, now, O oh Israel. Listen to the statutes and the rules that I am teaching you, and do them, that you may live and go in and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. What was this verse? Yes, Deuteronomy 4, 1. Every word of God proves true. He is shield to those who take refuge in Him. What is this? Proverbs 35. Next one. Seek and read from the book of the Lord. Not one of these shall be missing. None shall be without her mate. For the mouth of the Lord has commanded and his spirit has gathered them. What was this verse? Yes. Isaiah 34, 16. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand for Ever. What was this verse? Yes. Isaiah 48. Remember the infinity sign. Okay. Now, for truly, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. What was this verse? Matthew 5.18. Lastly, all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. What was this verse? Yes. 2 Timothy 3.16. Okay. Now let's put them together and connect as a story. First, Moses wrote the words of the Lord, and he did not only write, but he also taught. He teach the word of God to do and live. Because, why is it important? Because God's word is true, and he is our shield. And God's word is perfect. His word is not missing or losing. Uh, it's made because the Lord has commended. Right? Because of that, so that creation withers and fades, but God's word stands forever. It never changes. And he will accomplish all the law. And all of this proves that God breathed all scripture for teaching, reproof, correction, and training. So we need to teach the word to ourselves and to the next generation. Wrap up with a quick quiz. What is this verse? And now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and the rules that I'm teaching you and do them, that you may live and go in and take possession of the land that the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Okay, what is this verse? The answer is, yes. See, Deuteronomy 4.1. Every word of God proves true. He is a shield to those who take refuge in him. What is this verse? Yep, A, Proverbs 35. See, can read from the book of the Lord, not one of these shall be missing, none shall be without her. For the mouth of the Lord has commanded, and his spirit has gathered them. What's the answer? Yes, the answer is D, mate. Okay, what words are missing? For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not, an, not a dot will pass from the until all is 
Okay, what's the answer? Great job. The answer is D. Iota law accomplished. Yep. Now, what is this verse? This is he who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies, because the Spirit is the truth. Now, this is from the Holy Spirit, right? What is this verse? Yeah, the answer is C, 1 John 5, 6. All right, great job. You already memorized the 28 verses. I'm so proud of you, and I want to encourage you to keep it up. Don't feel guilty if you cannot memorize the verse word for word. At least memorize the main idea of the verse and then constantly review the verse just like we did today so that you can keep up the details along the way. Please make sure to put your unique icon or emoji on 365 empowerment checklist on the description section below. Tomorrow we'll start a new theme, what is the purpose and content of the Bible. So please click the like button and hit subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Also watch the day 28 video of 70 days journey to the Bible. You can get the big picture of the Bible as you get the detailed picture of each verse through this video. All right, that's, for, that's it for today and looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you.